Um, one way people do it is they go to the census. And like, let's say they're trying to study people in New York City. They look at the census first to see what the census tells them. And then based on that, they know, okay, so we need people to be, you know, this race, this age, this from this financial bracket, etc. That's one way. But sometimes you don't know and you have to do an experiment and only statistics will tell you whether your sample is actually generalizable to your population. That's actually why we use statistics. That is the single most important reason why we use statistics. I'll say it again, to know if our sample is generalizable to the population. And that answered my second question. Okay, so moving on. Last week, seven people said that they can come at four. That wasn't true based on today. And nine said they cannot. Then 16 people said that they can come at 4.30 and zero said they cannot, which is also not true. Um, and then three people came in at 5.05. How did this affect our results? So we got the results about the four o'clock and the 4.30. But then three people came in at five o'clock. How did that change the results? Um, yes. Just because That's, yeah. That's true. It doesn't exactly change statistics. <laughs> okay. Yes? I was going to say that what people, you can't really do what people say because people will say that they meet at one time and really they're just going to come later. So, bias from the people we interviewed, which is you guys. So we had a, a, like, we had a percentage that said that they could. And then because the other people came in, the percentage changed. So there was a bias, and that happens a lot. Um, so basically that's the answer, we have biased results. Okay, next question. We hypothesized that being older increases the amount of restaurant meals you eat. Um, what is the independent variable? Um, Carolina. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Well, it's a thing that's not changing based on your hypothesis. Age is the independent variable. So we're looking at age, and based on age, age is fixed, and then we're seeing how many restaurant meals are from that. So that answers the next question, that restaurants is the dependent variable. It's dependent on age. And again, Independent and dependent variables are only important when we're looking at a hypothesis. It's a cause and effect in our study, not necessarily in the big picture, but just in our study, okay? Is this hypothesis scientifically plausible? Why or why not? Um, Catherine. Okay. But scientifically plausible would mean that most, like, or at least somebody based on biology could have this relationship, right? Yeah. Not everyone. Some. Some. Does anybody have a different answer? Yes. It's not been tested. But is it plausible? Like, scientifically plausible doesn't mean has it been tested, it means like, is it possible? Is it possible? Mm -hmm. yeah. That your age would increase your amount of restaurants. Like, does anybody have a reason? Like, why would someone's age um, change how often they go to the restaurants? Okay. Yes. Okay. But the specific hypothesis says so the older you are, the more restaurant meals you'll eat. Yeah. Probably you have more money. Okay. Or maybe you also have more freedom, like if you are a young kid, like no one's gonna let you go out by yourself also, but then if you're older, you can do whatever you want. Um, and so if we're testing it just on, in this room, this is our sample to answer that hypothesis. 
how might our sample be biased? In other words, can, is the answer we get here, can we apply it to the general population? Why not? Okay, but we're just talking about so the, so if that is the the population, then right, we are not going to be the same as them. But okay, so I guess I should ask, what is our population? If we were doing a study taking you guys into account, what what do you think we're measuring? Like who are we measuring? I just asked the 17 of you guys that were here the first day. So, are you guys biased? Or would you be different than, than an average person I would ask on the street? Abby? Right, right. Uh, you guys are all 15, 16, or 17 years old. That's not really like, that doesn't give me any answer about 80 year olds, or 60 year olds, or even 5 year olds. So, I guess I can't use you guys to answer that question. All the data is here. Okay, so, all right, so we have a data set, so what? What do we do with this data set? Can we learn things from it? Can we like find out a, an answer to a question? We can, we can do the restaurant question, we could also do any other question we want. Remember the first day I asked you guys to write a hypoth like your, any hypothesis you wanted to test? Well, because we have this data, we can test any hypothesis we want. But before we do that, I think, and a lot of scientists do, they like to see, okay, so I sampled these people, but I want to, and the only reason I sampled these people was because they signed up for the HCS after school program. But I don't know how old they are, and I don't know like anything about their health. I don't know anything about just who they are as people. Before I even ask them questions about their nutritional habits, I want to know the descriptive statistics about these people. So descriptive statistics will tell me, will describe in statistics who you guys are as a group. And um, so I'm not trying to stereotype, I'm not trying to be like, okay, well, I think most people here are four feet tall. That would be, first of all, that's a wrong hypothesis, because I don't think you guys are four feet tall. And I don't want to make any judgments, so I'm going to graph all the data of your heights and see around where you fall in. So this is your height in inches, and 60 inches is five feet, correct me if I'm wrong and 72 inches is six feet. So where do you think most of you are gonna fit in? Fit? 16, 17, most people here and anywhere are between five feet and six feet, correct? So we hypothesize it will be somewhere here. So if this is the, like the number of people that are that height, we're gonna, and I'm gonna make bars, then we're gonna think, I'm gonna think that the highest bar will be here, right? In the middle. All right, so looking at our data, actually, hmm, can I get a volunteer to come help me? It's not that scary, yes. Okay, this is a pen. So we're gonna look at height, and this is the height. Everybody look at the height. And open to, while she's doing it up here, there should be a piece of graph paper in there, and you're gonna do the same exact thing. So here, on the vertical column, you're gonna do the number of people that are that height. And here on, the, on this axis is the height itself. So you can make the scale any way you want, or you can make the scale every 10 inches like I did. You guys